Yeah, I know the person in the mirror is not a perfect one. Finally, I did the skull. It took a lot of me looking at other pictures, getting different inspiration. But I can truly say I did not mimic this from like one artist. I did exactly what she did. For my little gaps here, I actually brought this one down. I felt it looked a little bit area and I elongated this. And this couldn't go no more. If it could, I would have. No, I should have done. I should have blacked out here. Man. I had a glow like a weirdo but this is the look for today at the rhinestones and I'm telling you guys these contacts they make or break the look without the contacts it will not be as striking but I love it I love it I love it love it love it and I don't want to add any blood either I just want it to be this oh I love it I feel so accomplished like oof one done let's see what I, i've been thinking about this look since last night you guys so i was in my bed thinking okay what am i going to do and i was like you know what i'm going to try that skull again all right guys so i'm going to start by using my face by shana bro gel actually and i'm using this to draw the circles no what i'm thinking i was thinking i should have drawn like a big thick wing but hey who knows maybe next time if i do this again I definitely want to do more like modifications of the skull look because I'm hella inspired by these artists I've been seeing here. Okay, so now I'm just filling it in. Then I'm going. Oh, I have on my foundation by the way, but I have not contoured. So I just have on foundation only with set with powder. Then I'm going to Sasha Sasha Buttercup um translucent powder. It's white. So I'm showing guys that I'm actually looking on Pinterest as I'm doing this looking for inspiration and the face by Shana is what I just showed you guys that I used to blacken up my eyes and this is um, LA Pri Pro Primer in black and that's what I used to go on the inside. So now I'm using Sasha, I mean face by Shana again. This is what I'm using to create the lines. Now, upon further, um, oh yeah, and I drew and I drew my lines further down there. I think it looked cool. But on further examination, I realized that the inside where the lips are, the teeth are, they tend to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going in with my Sasha Cosmetics um, concealer, the same concealer I used to do my brows, and I do a regular, um, a non Halloween look. It's the same concealer I'm using. I'm going in between. I'm getting a um, a small brush. The smaller the brush, the better if for this. Um, in my case but it's the smallest one that i had if, if your spaces are bigger then a brush don't necessarily have to be bigger so it looks i think it looks really cool so now i'm going in with <coughs> excuse me black eyeshadow and i'm just patting it all over because i wanted it to look a little bit darker because this is actually bro gel you know so it's i don't think it's meant to be like that and it's, and it's not even black this one i have on is a medium or like dark brown or something like so but you see how it looks different it looks darker than when i did so now I'm just uh, in Jamaica, we we'll call it knit up your eyebrow. So I'm knit up my eyebrow and wherever my creases are, my dents are, that's where I'm putting my little lines and I'm trying to connect them with the, um, excuse me, with the black. And then I'm going down along my nose and just contouring my nose a little bit. Ooh, cha. This look, mm, I'm so in love with this look. And then from there, I just did a basic um, contouring, a more traditional contouring. Um, I started out with brown because I didn't want to go full on black. Then I um, I graduated the colors till I got to black. So this is basically it, you guys. Oh, and then I add glow. I add my glow and I use the Watch Me blush palette for that. But this is it, and I feel I feel so accomplished. Like I finally did the skull look. This is what I envisioned the first time I did it, and it turned into the skull curl. But you know. Finally did it. Oh, and this brush. Remember, that's the brush I was using on my eyes. Now, this is the same brush I'm using. I'm just using whatever product is left on the brush. Because I wanted the black spots to be... To, the black um, lines being pulled out to be faint. Same thing goes for here. Using whatever's on the brush. Because I wanted it to be faint. And then, it didn't, I think I did this off camera. But I went in and I just kind of um, pounced on those areas a little bit with a bigger brush. Just to blend it out some more. So, it doesn't look so harsh. So, now, I'm putting glue on my face. And I actually added gems, but you guys will not be seeing it because I had to bend down to put them on and I was completely out of frame. I mean, completely out of frame. So this is the look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, see you tomorrow. I'm blending it out this video. <laughs> Bye, guys. 
I rule for normal, I can never come back Christians told me go to hell and I already done that Social club, misfit gang, I know they love that And we killing everything, follow the blood tracks I'm feeling like this movement is unstoppable